Shabbat Shalom, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. So as you know, we started using the new prayer book, which is in some sense new only to us. Because if you open up to the copyright page, first of all, I want to show you something interesting about the copyright page. But it came out in 2007. So it's not that new. 2007 was a few minutes ago. If you look at the copyright page, though, then it says 2007. Look to see what the number is underneath it, underneath the big paragraphy thing. So on one page it says, in memory of our parents, the op opposite page, that copyright page. The, the far right has a small number, and the far left has the biggest number. You see what I'm talking about? So if your far right number is 2 and it ends in 12, that's not the version we're using in the sanctuary. If it starts with a 7 and ends in 24, that's the version we're using in the sanctuary. We are using the version that is just Shabbat. It should correspond with the new one for the Shabbat and weekdays and festivals. Um, but there's t more than one printing. And it turns out that some of the prayers um, they had to pull out of the, the ones that were in the, new, the old first version, they had to pull some of them out for copyright reasons or something. So um, it's complicated. Did everybody get a copy of this? I was suggested that it might make it easier to find your way through this maze of prayer book if you have this. I'm a little bit nervous that this is just going to be one more thing to keep up with. But, um, but what I do want to show you is this. It's still a learning curve. Newness is difficult on us. There are, if some people who are participating are using the complete book that has Shabbat and festivals and weekdays, some people are using just Shabbat. If you open up your book and you look and you notice there's two page numbers at the bottom of every page, if you have the Shabbat book, if you have the complete book, you only have one page number. The number that is in blue is the w number that has, that's the same as the big book. So I'm only going to call out the blue numbers. And the page numbers that you see that I handed out on this, which if you're watching um, on YouTube, you're not going to have that but maybe starting next week we'll do that for you too. Um, those are only the blue numbers that are on this. So, and I don't want to interrupt the service. Part of the beauty of understanding the service is not having to interrupt a service a lot. That's part of why we prepped this. So I'm going to tell you the details before the service starts. And then we'll just start the service and you'll see, for the most part, you know, a prayer book is called a sidor, which comes from the same word as seder, because it follows the same order, which means that you're ordering me to start. No, just kidding. It means it follows the same order. Um, and so I wanted to show you that every service has these chunks in it. The first chunk of service, the first section, is always an introductory part where you get in the mood for praying. On Shabbat, it's called Kabbalat Panim sometimes, or Kabbalat Shabbat. Kabbalah means welcoming, the welcoming Shabbat part. Um, and then we get to the part that's called Arvit, which means evening. The first, the next important chunk is a section called Shema and its blessings. It says Shema and her blessings. I like it like that. But it's Shema and her blessings. Ironically, the Shema and her blessings starts with the Baruch and not with the Shema. The Shema is in the middle of the section. And it ends just after Mi um, And you'll know what that means because it's going to do the same thing every single week. So that first chunk of service, the intro, the Kabbalah Shabbat, the Shema and its blessings, I'm going to be pulling from service one of this prayer book. Service one, when you open up the pages, you're facing pages, all four of these prayers are the same page, the same prayer, I mean. And the top right is going to have Hebrew, and below it is going to have a translation, and the top left is an interpretive translation, and the bottom left is another interpretive translation. And it's going to be the same thing, and we're going to go from that prayer, all four of those. We're only going to do one. Maybe we'll do Hebrew and one, and then we turn the page. And then we're going to do one, and then we turn the page. It's a lot of page turning, but we're going to just keep the same order. In service two, which we're going to start in the middle of the service, there aren't four different versions of every prayer. There's just one, and a fairly standard translation. So we're going to do whatever is here, 
and then we're going to move on to here. If we do Hebrew, we may not do English. If we do English, we may not do Hebrew, and we're going to just go to the next page. So you will see that it says we're going to be going from 273 to 285. We're just going to keep turning the pages. And I'm hoping that this helps to understand the book a little bit better. The first service is very creative, very inspiring. I think you're going to love some of the selections. The second service is fairly standard stuff. Max, where did you get batteries for from this thing? Okay, we're getting static, and that's usually a deadish battery. But so far, so good. But I'm getting static. All right, so we are going to begin the service. And as you can tell, uh, we need to take a deep breath. <laughs> so take a deep breath. Let it out slowly. Try again. Deep breath. Let it out slowly. And the service is way less complicated than it sounds. And then it feels we're just going to start and just keep going. And, um, and you'll see it's not that complicated. But we're going to begin on page 121 with, you'll notice it says, you may offer one of these before kindling the lights, or in our case, the light, because that one refuses to stay, which is good. Please rise, because the blessing says to kindle the light of Shabbat. So today we're only doing one. So I'm suggesting we do the bottom one on page 121. You're welcome to join me. O source of light and truth, creator of the eternal law of goodness. Help us to find knowledge by which to live. Lead us to take the words we shall speak into our hearts and our lives. Bless all who enter this sanctuary in need, all who bring the offerings of their hearts. May our worship lead us to acts of kindness, peace, and love. Page 120. We're going to say this in English first, and then we're going to sing it in the Hebrew. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kedeshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivahanu lehahad likner Lehahad Likner Shel Shabbat Shabbat Candle. You may be seated. Please say Shabbat Shalom to someone you came in with, someone you didn't come in with. Make sure everybody gets a Shabbat Shalom. <coughs> I obviously have to clear my throat. <coughs> hey, Shabbat Shalom, Max. We continue on page 124. We enter this sanctuary to welcome Shabbat. Within these walls, we sit surrounded by numberless generations. Our ancestors built the synagogue as a visible sign of God's presence in their midst. Throughout our long history and our endless wanderings, it has endured a beacon of truth, love, and justice for all humanity. Its presence guided our ancestors to lives of righteousness, holding up to them a vision of their truest selves. Now we, in turn, come into the sanctuary to affirm the sacredness of our lives. May we enter this place in peace. May holiness wrap around us as we cross its threshold. Weariness, doubt, the flaws within our human hearts, the harshness of the weak, let these drop away at the door. In the brightness of Shabbat, let peace settle upon us as we lift our hearts in prayer. We will continue with singing pa on page 142, Shalom Aleichem, welcoming the angels of Shabbat. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi HaSharet, Malachi. Shalom, Malachi 
Continue on page 144 with the reader's Kaddish. Yit Kadal, Vahit Kadash, Shme Raba, Amen. Al Madi Rachirute, Vyam Lichma Hute, Vecha Yechon, Uvyom Echon, Uvchaed Hol Beit Israel, Ba Agala, Ba Agala, Uviz Mahan Karib. Vimiru, Amen. Yehesh me Rabba mevarach. La alamu al me al maya. Yit barach. Yit barach v'yish tabach. V'yit pahar v'yit romam v'yit nase. V'yit hadar v'yit ale v'yit halal. Shemeh du kudisha. V'yichu. Lela min kol bircha tava shirata. Tushbecha tava nechemata Dahamihiran b'alma Vimiru Amen Next page, 146 Barachu et Adonai Hamevorach Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Leolam va'ed Next page, 148. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, ruler of the universe, who speaks the evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters the time and changes the seasons, and arranges the stars in their heavenly courses according to plan. You are creator of day and night, rolling light away from darkness and darkness from light, transforming day into night, and distinguishing one from the other. Adonai Tzavaot is one of your names. <laughs> Ever-living God, may you reign continually over us into eternity. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hama'ariv Aravim. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on evening. Next page, 150. Everlasting love you offered your people Israel by teaching us Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts, Therefore, Adonai our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and your commandments. We will rejoice in your Torah forever. Day and night we will reflect on them, for they are our life, and doing them lengthens our days. Never remove your love from us. Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Praise to you, Adonai, who loves your people, Israel. Here it comes. Shema Yisrael be seated and we'll continue on the next page on 154. <laughs> Anochi mitzavecha hayom alevavecha vishinantam levanecha vribartaha bam vishivtecha bavetecha uvelechtecha vaderech uvishochbecha uvekumecha ukshartam leohot ahar yadecha vehayulitotafohot behenecha 
וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי והייתם קדושים לאלוהיכם אני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם אדוני אלוהיכם אמת I like the translation on page 155, the facing page. Love your God with every heartbeat, with every breath, with every conscious act. Keep in mind the words I command you today. Teach them to your children. Talk about them at work, whether you're tired or you're rested. Let them guide the work of your hands. Keep them in the forefront of your vision. Do not leave them at the doorway of your house or outside your gate. They are reminders to do all of my commandments, my misvot, so that you can be holy for God. I am Adonai, your God. I led you out of Egypt to become your God. I am Adonai, your God. We continue on the next page, 156. All this we hold to be true and trustworthy for us. You alone are our God and we are Israel, your people. You are our sovereign and savior who delivers us from oppressors' hands and saves us from tyrants' fists. You work wonders without number, marvels beyond count. You give us life and steady our footsteps. You perform miracles for us before Pharaoh, signs and wonders in the land of the Egyptians. You led your people Israel out from their midst to freedom for all time. When your children witnessed your dominance and praised your name in gratitude, and they accepted your sovereignty, Moses, Miriam, and all Israel sang to you together, lifting their voices joyously on page 158, we sing. Continue on the next page, on page 161. Give us a place to rest, Adonai, our God. Bring us into shelter in the soft, long evening shadows of your truth. For with you are true protection and safety, and in your presence are acceptance and gentle love. Watch over us as we go forth. Prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace, over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Baruch atah Adonai, haporeis sukkat shalom, aleinu v'al kol amo Yisrael v'al Yerushalayim. We get to choose a song here. I'm choosing this one. Shameru v'ne Yisrael et ha-shabbat La'asut et ha-shabbat L'dorot ha-merit o'olam Beni uven b'ne Yisrael Od hi le'olam, od hi le'olam Od hi le'olam Bishameru v'ne Israel, et ha-shabbat La'asut et ha-shabbat L'dorot ha-merit o'olam Ki sheshet yamim asa Adonai 
יצא אדוני את השמיים ואת הארץ ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדורות המרית עולם וביום השביעי שבת וינפש שבת וינפש שבת וינפש בשמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדורות המרית עולם. We are going to continue with the Shabbat evening service two. We begin with the tefillah, which begins on page 273, and I ask you to please rise. Adonai sifatai tiftach ufi agitehi latecha Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu velohe avotenu vimotenu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Lea, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagivor Vahanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekonehe Hakol, Vezocher Chasde Avot Vimahot, Umevi Gula Livnevnehem. למען שמו באהבה, מלך עוזר ומושיע ומגן, ברוך אתה אדוני, מגן אברהם ועזרת שרה. Facing page, we pray that we might know before whom we stand, the power whose gift is life, who quickens those who have forgotten how to live, having implanted within us an eternal spirit. We pray for winds to disperse the air of sadness, for rains to make parched hopes rise again. We pray for love to encompass us for no reason save that we are human, that we may blossom into persons who have gained power over our own lives. We pray to stand upright, we fallen, to be healed, we sufferers. We pray to break the bonds that keep us from the world of beauty. We pray to be open to our own true selves, we pray that we may walk in a garden of purpose in touch with the power of the world. Praise be the God whose gift is life, Baruch, whose cleansing reigns let parched men and women rise again. Baruch atah Adonai, Mikhaye hakol. You are kadosh, holy. Your name is kadosh, holy. And those who are kedoshim, holy, praise you every day. Baruch atah Adonai, ha'el hakadosh. Blessed are you, Adonai, the Holy God. You are welcome to be seated. You set aside the seventh day for your name, the pinnacle of creation, and you blessed it above all other days, more sacred than all festival times. So it is written in your Torah, please join me. The heaven and the earth were finished and all their array. On the seventh day, God had completed the work that had been done, ceasing then on the seventh day from all the work that God had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy and ceased from all the creative work that God had chosen to do. Our God and God of our ancestors, be pleased with our rest. Sanctify us with your mitzvot and grant us a share in your Torah. Satisfy us with your goodness and gladden us with your salvation. Purify our hearts to serve you in truth. In your gracious love, Adonai, our God, grant as our heritage your holy Shabbat, that Israel, who sanctifies your name, may rest on it. Praise to you, Adonai, who sanctifies Shabbat. We continue on the facing page. Be gracious, Adonai, our God, to your people Israel, and receive our prayers with love. O may our worship always be acceptable to you. Fill us with the knowledge that you are near to all who seek you in truth, 
We skip this because it is not Rosh Chodesh, Pesach, or Sukkot. So we continue in the middle of page 280. Or I guess we have to skip and go all the way to the top of page 281. Sorry about that, unless you want to do it in Hebrew. For the good in us, which calls us to a better life, we give thanks. For the strength to improve the world with our hearts and our hands, we offer praise. For the desire in us, which leads us to work for peace, we are grateful. For life and nature, harmony and beauty, for the hope of tomorrow, all praise to the source of being. For all these things, O Sovereign, let your name be forever praised and blessed. O God, our Redeemer and Helper, let all who live affirm you and praise your name in truth. Blessed are you, Adonai. Your name is goodness, and you are worthy of thanksgiving. Baruch ata Adonai. Hatov shimcha ulecha nae lehodot. We continue with the song of peace on page 282. Shalom Rav al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Lo meditations on pages 283 through 285 that some are old some are new you may be inspired by those but now is time for silent prayer so you may choose whatever is in your heart we'll join together again on page 285 with a song when we finish the silent prayer Shalom Bimromach Huya Asse Shalom Ve Al Kol Israel Ve Himru E Himru Amen Ya Asse Shalom, Yahasha Shalom, Shalom. 
We continue now with some of the extra prayers that we add. One of the things we need to do is add the prayer for the Omer, which is on page, no, first let's do healing because we're doing these in order, trying to make this an easier prayer book to use. Page 371. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal those who are ill. If you have names for whom you would like us to be saying prayers, I invite you to call them out. May the Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health to be restored and their strength to be revived. May God swiftly send them a complete renewal of body and spirit, and let us say, Amen. Bless those in need of healing with refuah shlema. The renewal of bodies, the renewal of spirit. Open your eyes and let us say Amen. All right, let's mishmash the second verse too. Misha Beirach Imotenu Mekor Habracha. source of strength who will bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say amen it took a lot of courage for us to <laughs> continue that song after i closed my eyes and did the wrong verse and in our congregation, it has become our tradition to add, on behalf of our military, police, firefighters, EMTs, doctors, nurses, and veterans, may the one who blessed and protected our ancestors guard all those whom we've entrusted with the responsibility of defending our freedom, protecting us or healing us in this country, in the land of Israel, and everywhere they've been called to serve. Give them courage to succeed and strength to persevere. May they return home safely. And let us say, Amen. Now we turn to the Omer, which is on page 570 in the blue numbers. And I've got a tab for it here somewhere. Yes, I do. The blue one. So do we know where we are? This year it's kind of easy. You know where we are today? We're at 28 days already. That's four weeks. That's what you need to remember. You can say it in Hebrew. You could say it in English. You could say it both, but that's what we're going to be saying. 28 days and four weeks. Hineni muchanu mezuman lekayem mitzvat aseh shel sfirat haomer. I am ready to fulfill the mitzvah of counting the omer. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kedeshanu b'mitzvotav Vitzivanu al Sfirat Haomer. Our praise to you, Adonai, 
sovereign of all, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to count the Omer. Hayom, I have it all written down. Shmona ve'esrim yom shehem arba'a shavuot la'omer. Today is the 28th day, which is four weeks and zero days of the Omer. Another mitzvah. Look at how many mitzvahs we've already done so far t- being together. So did you know, if you read the bulletin email, you should know that May, one of the things that May is, is Jewish History Month, especially Jewish American History Month. Did you see I put a trivia question in there for you in the bulletin email? <laughs> Nobody reads those stuff. I tried. Um, but I have some history trivia for you. Maybe we'll play some of this as a game, see if you like history more if it's a game than if it's a, a test. <laughs> it's not a test. Um, I wasn't very good at history, but I think this stuff is cool because it's Jewish American history of Shreveport. And some of you may already know the answers to this and some of you may not. So if I say Abraham and Sarah, does that mean anything to you? Abraham and Sarah? So Abraham, I, you had Isaac, next generation. So here's the thing. I'm not sure that that's where it is. Abraham and Sarah Winter first purchased, they were part of the first Jews in Shreveport. Um, they were part of the group that, well, Abraham, they're some of the first Jews in the Shreveport area. And they helped, along with his brother, to buy the first Torah scroll in Shreveport which I think is pretty cool. Their last name was Winter. Um, it, in, the 18, in 1845, they purchased the first Torah scroll, which we still have in our ark. It is, we were taught <laughs> that it is an Italian Torah from the 13th century. That may not be a total truth, but that's our story. <laughs> and for now, we're a little bit sticking to it, Actually, no, we'll learn more about the Torah scrolls in our ark as time goes by because Torah and history and the Jewish history in Shreveport is very important to us this year, and you'll find out more about that at the annual meeting. Um, Do you know how many Jewish cemeteries there are in Shreveport? Actually, four. There are four Jewish cemeteries. The first one is Oakland Cemetery, we, we were the first section, b- the Jewish section of Oakland Cemetery, which is, seems it's mostly a public cemetery, a city-owned cemetery, but the Jewish section is the first chunk that was purchased. It was the beginning of the Oakland Cemetery, and the Jewish section of Oakland is called Hebrew Rest Cemetery Number 1. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit. So there are four. How many of those are B'nai Zion out of the four cemeteries? And by the way, just in case you thought we were very creative about our names, the names of the cemeteries in Shreveport are Hebrew Rest Cemetery Number 1, Hebrew Rest (laughs) Cemetery Number 2, Hebrew Rest Cemetery Number 3, and Hebrew Rest Cemetery Number 4. Um, And I think think there's a mistake on the the board outside. If you look outside the the office, I've got a a bunch of history dates on there. But I think that B'nai Zion actually has Hebrew Cemetery Hebrew Rest Cemetery 1, 2, and 4 are B'nai Zion cemeteries. I think 3 is a good Athachim's, I think. Um, it's 2 or 3. i got to check that because we have it wrong on the board. Um, so we have four cemeteries in Shreveport, which is pretty impressive. Three of them are B'nai Zion cemeteries. Next Sunday, the 22nd, we're planning to swap out the flags for Memorial Day that are by the, s- uh, the sites where the veterans are buried. Uh, I know that for Memorial Day, we're supposed to be only doing the sites of, veter- of people who, were s- who died serving in the military while, while in action, but we remember everyone who served at, with a flag. We honor their memory. Um, you know that the first Jewish settler to arrive in the Shreveport area was? This is one you probably know. I knew this one. You didn't know this one? Jacob, starts with a B. Long name, Bodenheimer, yes, Um, in 1827. um, He started off actually not in Shreveport, and he started off in what is now the city of Bossier City. I love that name because we like to call it the Department of Redundancy Department, um, the city of Bossier City. Um, And uh, all right, so in Oakland Cemetery, there is a very important captain from the Civil War who's buried there. Anybody know his name? 
He's got an easy name to remember, not like Bodenheimer, and you remembered Bodenheimer. Simon Levy. Simon Levy, do you know where he was born? He was born in France, and he was a captain in the Civil War. When we go and put up flags, by the time we get to that, that's our third cemetery that we visit. First we visit the one in the Greenwood Cemetery, and then we go to the one on Texas, and then we get to Oakland. So usually by the time we're at Oakland, it's just me and my guys who are doing that one. <laughs> and and, the, and because, it's, um, because Simon Levy was on the losing side of the war, my kids te tease me every time saying, you sure we're supposed to put a flag over there? Yes, we are. Um, so did you know that in 1866, he married a woman named Harriet Bodenheimer. He married Jacob's daughter. How cool is that? I thought that was cool. Um, and did you know that, uh, so Simon Levy, was, he served as president of B'nai Zion. Um, another Jewish war hero that's buried there is a guy named Colonel Leon Marks. Uh, he was a lawyer before the Civil War. He is attributed to be the first Jewish lawyer to practice in Shreveport. Colonel Leon Marks, don't forget that, this is good stuff. Um, Samuel Levy, on the other hand, became the first of four Jewish mayors in Shreveport. I don't know if you're going to be able to name all of the Jewish mayors, can you? Think about it. Maybe by the end of this you will. Um, and I wanted to tell you other little tidbits, just quick. I pulled some of these things out of some of the histories about us. Um, after the Civil War, it says the war, after the Civil War, there was a, there was a congregation in Shreveport called Har El. Okay, that was the first Jewish congregation. Um, and they reorganized after the Civil War and they called themselves Hebrew Zion and purchased a home on Fannin Street, a home. In 1869, congregants built Hebrew Zion's first temple building on that site. When we said we were going to celebrate 200, 150 years in buildings, it was because of that building that was built to be a synagogue. The congregation also adopted the Reform Prayer Book in 1869 and began a gradual shift toward the reform movement and the reform practices. This led to divisions among members. What? You ever hear Jesus arguing about practice? I don't know. So a few people broke off in 1875 and they established an Orthodox congregation that they called Emmanuel. The experiment was short-lived. <laughs> the founders of Emmanuel disbanded the new congregation and rejoined with Hebrew Zion two years later. The reunited congregation served as the precursor to B'nai Zion, which they, the name they adopted in the con of the, for that congregation. We became B'nai Zion in 1915. 1915. Jewish residents of Shreveport and the surrounding areas played active roles in the communities. They participated in every level of public administration. Jacob Bodenheimer raised two sons who grew up to serve as mayors in the area. It wasn't Shreveport, but it was in the area. Henry Bodenheimer, his son, served a two-year term as the first mayor of Houghton. He later gained infamy for, quote, the first time a Jew has killed anybody in these parts. <laughs> in these parts. You want to know which parts he killed him in? <laughs> I, ha I know, because he's in the, the cemetery. And Gary Joyner tells a really good story about what happened there. After dispatching his drunkard and violent business partner in self-defense in a Shreveport saloon. A second son, Emanuel Bodenheimer, was the only mayor in the history of South Highlands. That was its own little place there before the town's consolidation with Shreveport. Samuel Levy, remember, he was, one of, he was the first of Shreveport's four Jewish mayors. I liked what it said about him. It said Jewish residents of Shreveport and surrounding areas played active roles in their communities, participating in every level of public administration. The region's first settler, Jacob Bodenheimer, we, we did this already. I've did a lot of copying the same things twice. Um, uh, then it says, Samuel Levy uh, assumed the title of mayor during the turbulent period of Reconstruction. In the early 1870s, Levi Le Levy was serving Shreveport as the administrator of finance when the carpetbagger, Louisiana governor, William Pitt Kellogg, appointed Dr. Joseph Taylor to the position of mayor. He was already serving as mayor. He appointed somebody else as mayor. Levy was allowed to continue in his same position under the new leadership. Taylor and his self-appointed leaders of other city departments commenced to operate a notoriously corrupt administration that siphoned funds from city services and left the city in dire financial straits. Local resentment simmered and reached a breaking point in the summer of 1873. In August, that summer, a controversy erupted over the arrest of a local citizen on dubious charges. 
following a violent courtroom debacle in which a friend of the accused threw a large Bible at the mayor's head. Citizens openly demanded Taylor's resignation, which he tendered on August 8th. Governor Kellogg decided to appoint Samuel Levy as the mayor pro temp until the time of the next election. If reconstruction tensions didn't pose enough of a challenge, Levy's appointment also coincided with the most severe, and you know this story, yellow fever epidemic ever to strike Shreveport. In 1873, Shreveport lost 25% of its population as over 800 people died from the disease, while others fled the city and never returned. Um, since the previous Taylor administration drained the city coffers, any remaining money was diverted to sanitation measures, Levy took the extraordinary step of paying municipal bills out of his own pocket. He served in this difficult post through December when elections brought a new mayor to power. Elected as the city's second Jewish mayor, a guy named Ben Holtzman, his tenure was significantly more productive than that of his predecessor, Samuel Levy. In his inaugural, inaugural address, it just it's, it amazes me how many of the things that were going on were parallel and how many weren't exactly parallel, but he identified many of the challenges posed by Shreveport's rapid growth and the difficult transition from a small town to a large city. These were the things he talked about. Um, he embarked upon an ambitious program of improvements to the city's infrastructure. We keep hearing that word a lot, right? Including city streets, transportation networks and public utilities, which means if anybody knew, I guess we could blame him, that first, that Jewish guy on uh, all the street problems now. Just kidding. Holzman revived the city's moribund police force and initiated construction of new public schools. A newspaper retrospective published after his term described Holzman as, quote, one of the city's most successful businessmen. He administered the affairs of the city with the same ability that had characterized his dealings in the business world. His granddaughter, I think you're gonna like this, was born Catherine Kahn. We have many ways of spelling Kahn in our congregation. This one is C-O-N-N. -N. That's what her name was, Catherine Kahn, but later gained fame through her screen name, Kitty Carlisle. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Kitty Carlisle was the mayor's uh, granddaughter. Jewish mayor's granddaughter was Kitty Carlisle. We know Kitty Carlisle. Um, Holtzman helped found the short-lived traditional Emmanuel congregation. He was one of the Orthodox guys who broke off, and he, but he returned to an active role in B'nai Zion upon its demise. One of his closest friends, Ernest Bernstein, maybe Bernstein, participated in the Emmanuel experiment as well and served as Shreveport mayor soon after Holtzman. Prior to his election as mayor, Bernstein served a number of terms in the city council, blah, 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 blah. Um, during his term as mayor from 1906 to 1908, he concentrated on improving the city's water and electric service and extending the city railway service, railway service. Bernstein also steered the city's finances through the nationwide panic of 1907 and succeeded in honoring all municipal debts while at the same time managing to reduce local taxes. I love those guys. I think that's so cool. Um, we maybe continue to hear some more about what was going on in the Jewish history since we're talking about American Jewish History Month. I hope you appreciated that. I love hearing about these things. So, for our last time as Madam President, what? And we had a Jewish First Lady as well. We did indeed. Um, for the last time as President for this round, just kidding, um, maybe. <laughs> Um, I would like to invite Kathy Plant up to read the announcements and tell us what's going on in our world. Please, because hopefully everybody will be at the meeting on Sunday and watch her become the not president. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Max, Mike, Max, Mike one. Okay, thank you. Rabbi, we'll have a Zoom on Shabbat this evening. It'll begin about 30 minutes after this service concludes. Tomorrow morning, join Rabbi Jana on Zoom for 9.45 a.m. Torah study and the 11 a.m. Shabbat morning service. There are many details on our website, including links for Torah commentaries, how to join us, and the printout of the worship service. Everyone is welcome to join either or both events. B'nai Zion members, remember Sunday, this Sunday, our annual congregational meeting and brunch uh, there is no charge for the brunch. Come to the sanctuary 
to begin the day with us at 1030. We will take the new congregational photo and then continue for brunch in the meeting. We really hope to see you there, here, as well. <laughs> the Jewish Federation is inviting you to join us at B'nai Zion for Joel Chasnoff, a Jewish comedian who will join us for dessert and laughs at 7 p.m. Monday evening, this coming Monday. Hadassah's annual shower of do dollars will be this coming Wednesday, May 18th from noon to 2 p.m. It will be a drive-through event. Please bring donations to Debbie DeLynn's home at 5705 River Road near Southfield Road. Instead of going inside for a visit this year, when you stay, you will stay in your car, hand her the donation, and she will give you a pastry treat for the road. The Regional Hadassah Board encourages you to wear a mask to, to protect each other. If you cannot make it to the Wednesday event, please consider sending your Hadassah donation to Debbie's home. You are welcome to call Debbie for more details. I want to know what the pastries are. Okay. There's, I know that there's at least cheesecake, and I don't know what else. Anyway, there will be a new interactive web page showing locations, locations of Wiener Brother buildings in Shreveport. The launch date is this Thursday, May 19th. To celebrate, there will be two screenings of the documentary about their work, which will be shown Thursday evening at 6 p.m. and at 8 p.m. with a panel discussion after the first one. The screenings will be at the Robinson Film Center. More details, of course, on our website. Finally, let me add that the Flag Sunday, in other words, flags to put out for, for veterans, will be next Sunday, not this Sunday, May 22nd, and we will meet at 10 a.m. and we'll begin at the Greenwood B'nai Zion section. Please join us as we celebrate Shavuos and Confirmation class as they lead the service on Friday, June 3rd. We've got a, almost a whole month to be reminded of that one. Donations were made to B'nai Zion Sisterhood Flower Fund in honor of B'nai Zion by B'nai Zion Sisterhood. Yeah. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. So I just want to point out, some of these events we didn't know about until this week, obviously. We didn't know about the Hadassah drive through Those were mandates from regional Hadassah, not Shreveport Hadassah. Regional means we're getting calls from Dallas and Houston telling us what to do. And we said, OK. Um, not without a lot of discussion, but we said, OK. So that's Wednesday. Um, a Jewish comedian coming here to Shreveport. It's going to be fun. I hope that you come. That's not something. Someone was worried that we first said he was Israeli, but he was an American f first. He speaks American English. He's not like Israeli with an Israeli accent, but he does have some insights about Israel. I have no idea what he's going to be doing as his jokes. We've heard him during the pandemic on Zoom. He did a, a private thing with us, so um, he's funny. So I hope that you come. It's free, and there's dessert again. You know what the dessert is for that one, right? So she knows, so come. Uh, it'll be fun, that's Monday night. And I think those are the things that I needed to tell you about. Yeah, don't yeah, don't make her eat it all, share. Um, the Wiener Brothers, I asked if the B'nai Zion building, which is partially, there were three Jewish architects and one of them was a Wiener um, who helped to create this building in 1956. And they said, we're not on the tour yet. So that's good, because I was worried that we were going to get lots of people coming, and we're not, we're not on the tour yet. So, but just know that this is also a Wiener Brothers building. No? Was Arthur Circle a Wiener Brothers one? Maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Do you remember? if Arthur Circle was? I know the high schools were. You're right, so let's watch the documentary and let's go on Thursday, check the website because they're going to have it up, but I'm not sure. There's also a very cool drive around tour with a picnic, but it's on a Saturday. You'll have to go to the website to see what it is. Click on the link for the PDF. I'm not gonna announce something that's conflicting with other things we're doing on Shabbat, but it sounds really cool. I think you should. Consider it if you were thinking about not coming to services. It would make me happy to know that you were doing something cool. Um, all right, we continue on page uh, 586. 
for the Alenu. Alenu is a little bit confusing. We jump around a little bit. But if you notice on page 586 and 587, there are three Alenus on that page. We are doing the one on the bottom right for 586. Please rise when the ark is open. Whoa. Wow. And then we skip a lot of pages to get to the end of the Alenu on page 591 in the middle of the page. Wait a second, let's turn. 591, almost, almost. We can admire the Torahs. Go. at the Torahs, you may see this one has like bands on the bottom with Hebrew on it that tells us who commissioned it. This is the only, this is the Torah it was talking about. It's the only one that we have at B'nai Zion that's kosher right now. Hi Torah, we love you. And you may be seated when the ark is closed. We continue with a section that is called the Mourner's Kaddish section. And the way this book works, it has some readings first, but the part that tells you you're about to do the readings is after them on page 597. So we're going to be flipping back and forth, and I apologize about this, but page 597 at the bottom. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. Included in them, it has become our tradition to acknowledge that we have lost at least six people in our military this year. We have lost 105 police officers for this week. We've lost one in Louisiana earlier this month. We've lost eight canine officers and we've lost 44 firefighters, which is two more losses this week. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. And I suggested that this time we turn to page 593, and we look at this interpretation of one that we know, but not exactly with these words. The light of life is a finite flame. Like the Shabbat candles, life is kindled, it burns, it glows, it is radiant with warmth and beauty, but soon it fades, its substance is consumed, and it is no more. In light we see, in light we are seen, but the flames dance and our lives are full, but as night follows day, the candle of our life burns down in gutters, there is an end to the flames, we see no more and are no more seen. Yet we do not despair, for we are more than a memory, slowly fading into the darkness. With our lives, we give life. Something of us can never die. We move in the eternal cycle of darkness and death, of light and life. We need to turn back to page 599. We think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us. We are still in the Shoshim period for Bobby Jean Gray. And I want to acknowledge someone we buried, I buried this week who was not a member here. She 
was in Minden, and her name was Ladani Wynne Tennyson. And we acknowledge the congregants' parents who died within the past year. We remember Carl Aaron, Carolyn Talbert, Harriet Frischman Kappen, Marsha Katzenstein, and Claire Maisel. And we remember those who's, who died at this season in years past. Those for whom we're observing your sites include Rose Offertig, Jerry Brown, Bernice Clark, Dr. J. Robert Fry, Eve Greenberg, Carolyn Hirsch, Marion Louise Hirsch, Erwin M. Joseph, Lynn Just, Paul Lowenthal, Moses Leon Totsi Murov, Dr. Floyd D. Roos, David Safir, Jake Schuster, Mayor Peter Paul Jacob Shamgar, Aaron Simon, Ruth Simon, Sidney Willer, and Harry Zwick. Zichronam Livracha, may their memories be for blessing. The Mourner's Kaddish is found on page 598. If it is your custom to do so, I invite you to please rise as we praise God's name. Yitkadal v'yit kadash shamei rabba ve'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute v'chaye chon v'yome chon v'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael ba'agala v'zman kariv v'imru amen yehe shamei rabba mevarach l'alam u'l'alme almaya yit barach v'yish tabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit ramam v'yit nase v'yit hadar v'yit ale Vit halal, shme de kudsha, brihu. La e la min kol birhata, vashirata. Tush bechata, vanechemata. Da amiran be alma, vimru, amen. Yehe shalama raba min shamaya. Vechaim alenu, val kol Yisrael, vimru, amen. O se shalom bimromav, huya a se shalom. Alenu, val kol Yisrael, vimru, amen. May the source of peace bestow peace on all who mourn, and may we be a source of comfort to all who are bereaved. Amen. You may be seated. We are going to sing on page 631, There is none like our God <coughs> in Kelohenu, page 631. for the closing blessing. Was that better that you had pages for paper? Did that make it easier? Or did it make it too many things to juggle? No. Yeah. It was better? Yeah, helpful. Cumbersome. I know. That's the problem. Bernard mentioned that um, not only is it a little confusing, so maybe having the paper would have helped, but their pages are so new that it's hard to turn the pages. So by the time, yeah, we need some techie stuff, and well, we're working on it. We're trying to make it. We'd, I told you one of my favorite... Um, bat mitzvah gift, d when the men's club gave the, the siddur to the bat mitzvah kid, he took the prayer book and he went, <coughs> and I'm like, ah, you can't do that to a book. He said, I don't want it to sit on your shelf. I want you to use it. I want to know that it's been used. So we have to go through and like just thumb through, give it to the kids, let them. I am so glad to be here worshiping together with you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. We're glad to have Adam back here. And because there was no concert and no rain, blah, blah, blah. we're glad. It was good to hear you sing. Thank you. Yivarechecha, Adonai vishmarecha. May God bless you and may God protect you. 
Yaer Adonai panav elecha v'chuneka, may the light of God's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Let's get some. Yisa Adonai panav elecha v'yaseim lecha shalom. May God's face always be lifted up to you. May God grant you peace. Shabbat shalom, everybody. See you if you're members on Sunday. See you if you're not a member even on Monday night. Um, see you uh, next week and flags and lots of things happening. Question. Is it?